What's going on everybody? So I thought I'd come to you from inside the Mustang because what we're going to talk about today has to do with speed. As you can see, I don't drive this car very much because the first thing I did was hit the top because I forgot how low the top actually is. Actually, there's more room in this than probably about the same as there is in the Tundra. Weird, but there's not over here. This is like right up against your head. But anyway, that's nothing to do with this video. The video is, uh, do you have to really pay those speeding tickets you get from the cameras. You know, them cameras that are set up in some towns and uh, you go through them and they flash because you're speeding or you run a red light or something and they flash. Um, do you really got to pay those? I've heard lots of stuff about how, well, you do have to pay them. Well, you don't have to pay them because you can't go to court and look your accuser in the eye on this, that, and the other, or in, as in my state, um, the cameras are actually running out, like their um, their contract's actually running out, so you don't have to pay them because that contract's fixing to be up and you don't have to worry about it then. So uh, that's actually happening here in Tennessee. Not sure when that is, but there's some cameras that's already been taken out. So in, at least around my town, I'm assuming all of Tennessee, but I don't know, um, they've made that illegal, but I'm sure there's other places that still have these speed cameras or ticket cameras or whatever you want to call them. And I've actually blacked out the, the name and the uh, license plate to protect the guilty. But here's what you'll get in the mail. Something that looks kind of like this. And you'll have a picture of like the back end of your car with the license plate number and a couple of other shots showing you. I think I think it actually ran a, a red light. Like you're supposed to stop and t make a right turn and didn't stop and she run right turn. Right there tells you who it was when I said she. This is my wife's car. And she run this stop sign, red light, whatever it was. She wasn't speeding. She come up to an intersection. She was turning right, didn't come to a complete stop, turn right, bam, it got her. And this was on December 10th, 2019. So she hung this on the refrigerator because she heard, hey, I don't have to pay these. So do I have to pay them? She just hung it up there and forgot about it. Well, today I get a thing in the mail from, um, let me fold this over to take my name out of it again, from uh, this place, which is a law firm, and it was sent to the collection agency. And lo and behold, the person that got sent to the collections agency wasn't named Pam, he was named Andy. Because my name is first on the car, now the car is in both our names, but because the title in the car loan is in my name first, my credit got hit because it got turned over to the collection agency. So, uh, yes, you do have to pay those or they will turn you in to a collection agency. It is a legit law firm. I looked it up. I wound up paying it. They even slapped on a $33 late fee, I believe it was, um, on top of the $50 ticket that she got. So it almost cost us twice as much to pay it and knock my credit score down a little bit, which is what's even more frustrating than the $88 I had to pay. Um, I would much rather have paid that $88. I'd rather have paid the $200 if it would have been that. Um, it wasn't, but I would rather pay that than actually have my credit score dinged for this. I'm not sure how much it hurt it. I noticed the other day that it dropped a couple points. And I thought, why'd my credit score drop? And then I got that letter in the mail and, uh, yep, figured out why it dropped. <laughs> um, it dropped because, uh, she didn't pay her ticket. I paid it today though. So don't worry. It is paid, but. In short, you do definitely have to pay those tickets, unless you don't mind your credit score dropping. Appreciate y'all watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.